Hey guys, this is uh, mainly directed at Lamb Dog because he's the battery expert from what I've found out, or been able to see, but <clears throat> this kind of goes to anybody that I guess is using or relying on 12 volt deep cycle type batteries for you know lead acid batteries for long term power supplies and whatnot. And I was thinking about it, you know, uh, Mike over at Chompy and Fringe mentioned that he's got some cheap batteries that he uses and whatnot. And if anybody has looked into stuff, 12 volt batteries, they you can full cycle them, like usually on the order anywhere from 200 to 400 times before they start to really diminish in how much power they'll hold and how much they'll deliver. So I was just having an idea that <clears throat> if you're trying to store power storage and uh, be able to have a shelf life on it, one of the things that you might want to look into is actual wet cell uh, lead acid batteries, but that don't have the uh, electrolyte in them, the sulfuric acid. So this question, or question I'm going to actually give to um, Lambdog is, can you buy batteries that don't have the electrolyte in them, and can most people actually go and buy the electrolyte? Because it's actually concentrated sulfuric acid, and if you happen to have read any books like maybe the Anarchist's Cookbook or something like that, uh, sulfuric, concentrated sulfuric acid has other uses besides batteries. Um, so just curious, can you buy the batteries totally dry, and can you buy well hermetically sealed canisters of the electrolyte because if you can you've got an essentially an, an indefinite supply of batteries because I mean <clears throat> lead doesn't go bad to you know very easily and sulfuric acid as long as it's stored in either glass or a quality polyethylene or polypropylene container isn't going to go bad so that means at some point in the future you just pour your, your acid into them and you're good to go and uh, so if your batteries that you have currently are running you know, solar, wind, whatever, you've got another source to replace them with and one that's relatively uh, shelf-stable. Anyway, just some thoughts on that. Catch you guys later.